Okay, here we're going to do a electronic adjustment of the shade. Um, as you see with the display here, we have a, a shade that is in a racked position where one arm is out farther than the other arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this actuator arm and extend it so it's the same length as that and then we're going to do some resets to get it back to the home position. Now to explain the controller a little bit, we have power coming in from the boat. We have this uh, output for uh, controlling the actuator, whatever actuator is plugged into this input. Um, dip switch number five will control that, uh, that actuator. And on this output, to whatever actuator is plugged into this output, this uh, position would be controlled by dip switch 6. So what you would do during this uh, adjustment is be using dip switches 5 through 8 to do a electronic adjustment. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the uh, actuator arm so that it is to the same extension length as I described earlier. So since this arm over here is plugged into the middle input, as I uh, stated earlier, we're going to turn dip switch number 5 to the on position. So right now they're all in the off position. We turn 5 on so it's all by itself. Okay? And then from there what we're going to do is we're going to extend this arm out until we get it to be uh, in line with the other one. You can if you like, what you can do is you can take a measurement to make sure that both sides are uh, to the correct measurement to be equal with each other. And once you have that uh, equaled out, you can basically now have to do a, a reset to clear out the memory. And what you want to do is, you know, now we're going to turn dip switch 5 to the off position. So we turn 5 off. We're going to do a reset on dip switch 8 first. Okay, eight, 8 is on, and I'm going to press the reset button. You see the green light come on, and it'll go out when you release, and then turn 8 off. Okay, so we cleared out any uh, uh, memory of uh, that was making it misaligned for whatever reason, voltage drop, uh, anything of that sort. So now we're able to retract the shade. Um, and so we're going to retract the shade, we're going to bring it into the uh, home position measurement which should be one inch from this, this black face to this black face here. That's good there. So now we're going to do another reset. This time we're going to do it on, on dip switch 7. Dip switch 7 is a full retraction reset, so I turned it on all by itself, press the reset button, turn dip switch 7 off, okay? And that will complete the reset now, and that's the, the retracted position of the shade. Everything is operational again. So just to go over the uh, dip switches again, you have dip switch 5 which will control the actuator that's plugged into this middle wire here. You have dip switch 6 that will control the actuator that's plugged into this wire here and that's controlling them independently. And now dip switch 7, when you turn that on and you use the reset button, wherever the shade is sitting, that's where the controller will be reset to know that that is a fully retracted position. Now, dip switch 8, when you turn that on and press the reset button, that is telling the controller whatever position the shade is in is now the fully extended position. So you can basically manipulate the shade in any manner you need to using 5 through 8.